So let's see what this question is saying. Height of isosceles trapezoid. I need to read the question very carefully. Isosceles trapezoid would be trapezoid is just trapezium in the US. They may call it trapezoid also. These two are identical sides, basically. That's the meaning of isosceles. AB is parallel to CD, and AC is not parallel to BD. That is also given to you. Diagonal AD is 15. What is the area of trapezoid? So I, I have two of the sides. Let me 12. And 15. And this is a 90 degree. So as per 3, 4, 5. If this is 12, this is 15. This should be 9. So this much I know, the base is 9 and the height is 12. Okay, so I can just redraw this triangle. This is what I know about it. Now if I just say this is identical to this triangle, I can just do it this way. That is another way to look at this problem. I can remove this triangle from here and put it here, exactly like this. So now this will be equivalent to a rectangle with sides 12 and 9. So 108 will be my answer. Okay. That is one way to solve this problem. This triangle you can just transfer to the other side. If not, then you will need to use a conventional method. That is also perfectly fine. It is not so difficult after this. But how? So why would you eliminate? 12 back? No, but how exactly? Multiplication or? No, but how? I am not sure. Which sides? At what point will you be able to eliminate? That is what I am asking. I know one of the sides is 12, but that is for the trapezium I am asked, not for this. So. They will be equal. They are, it is isosceles. That is why it is given. If I say that this height will anyway be equal, this is equal, what does it mean? These two will be equal because it is a Pythagoras theorem situation. If the triangles are congruent, everything is equal about them. They will become congruent triangles, identical triangles. Is this fine? What is the other way to solve this question? Let us see that also because that is important. If you do not get it this way, then what should I do? So you know that this value is 9, assume this part is x, so this will become 9 minus x and this will become 9 plus x. So half of sum of parallel sides, now sum of parallel sides will be 9 plus x plus 9 minus x into the height 12, what will that become you can find out, x will cancel. That is another way to solve. If my value of this is 9 and the other part is x, the, this part is also x. So the top part will become 9 minus x, bottom will become 9 plus x. Sum of parallel sides 9 plus x plus 9 minus x, 18. Half of 18, 9 into 12, 108. 